We're halfway through the season, we're getting delirious. We don't know where we are, we don't know what we're doing. All we know is we ride snowmobiles a lot. Okay, so guys, um, we're halfway through the season-ish. We're like the middle of February right now. And I just wanna go over a couple things that we check um, you know, after the sleds are out of break and we've been riding them for 500 miles, maybe more, maybe less, whatever. Um, just a couple quick things that we check quite a bit. First of all, um, I mean, obviously we have the hood and side panels off. Um, one thing we check a lot is spark plugs and spark plug caps. You know, if you're riding a modified sled, maybe you got twins, maybe you got a big bore, maybe you have an aftermarket turbo or whatever. Um, you know, even one of these, even one of these factory turbos, it's probably not a bad idea to change the spark plugs after like 500 miles. You know, spark plugs cost pretty much nothing. And, and when you're checking them, it also doesn't hurt to make sure they're still tight. You know, because if you've been rallying them, sometimes we see them vibrate out or detonation can do that if you're riding a mod sled, things like that. Um, not a lot of people are familiar with that kind of stuff. So it's good to, uh, it's good to check those, okay? And another thing we check is sometimes, I mean, I have a spark plug cap here and spark plug, is make sure they're on all the way. You'll hear it click. It's pretty hard to get them on. They're not, uh, if I can get it on. There it goes. You can see it. You probably can't hear it, but I can feel it. And then, uh, so that's another thing we check. Sometimes they push up a little bit, you know, and they'll still run for a little while. Or check for broken plugs. We've seen the porcelain break a few times. I've seen the whole porcelain break apart from the steel and it'll move in and out. Well, that doesn't happen very often, but it's just an easy thing to check, you know, and if, if you don't have spare plugs, it could ruin a day on the hill. So that's number one. And if you move the bars all the way over, it's way easier to get your arm in here. So that's a little tech tip for you. If you move the bars all the way over like that, it's a lot easier to get in there. Um, next thing, well, you already have the hood off. You can look down in here, you know, check the exhaust springs. Sometimes they break, um, you know, the vibration, stuff like that, a spring will break. The last thing you want is that thing to go on a belt drive or to go into your primary clutch or something like that. Um, because a tiny little spring that costs nothing can cost a lot of money and, you know, ruin a day of snowmobiling. So that would be a huge bummer. Um, I would say some choice words to Lars, though. I wouldn't blame it on myself. I blame it on Lars. Um, another thing, guys, we do a lot of, I mean, not necessarily walking around with a torque wrench and checking bolts by any means, but we just give the sled a good once over. Like, you know, we'll bend down, we'll look at the skid. You know, we look at the front end, things like that. People are renting a lot of our snowmobiles as well. So if we have a loose bolt and something comes apart going 60 miles an hour down the trail, we have a, we have a pretty big problem. So it's good to check the bolts. Like I said, we're not like physically going around and torquing them all by any means. We're just, just, just looking around, you know, just being aware of what's going on. So that's a pretty good thing to do. Another thing here, like I said, we're halfway through the season. It doesn't hurt to come in here and grease the skid. These pivot points, you have two grease circles right here. You have Buddy's ball right here, <laughs> another grease circle right here, and there's another one up here, wherever the, wherever the heck it is. I know it's up here somewhere. Where is it? Sorry, I know I'm it's up here. Sure about that. Apple Watch is not sure about that. But that's a couple things to check. You know, axle, these front um, track shock bolts right here on the bottom. Those things wear loose a little bit here and there. So just a couple things like that to check. You know, and last but not least, it wouldn't hurt, my watch is freaking out. It wouldn't hurt to clean the clutches, right? Check your belt deflection, clean the clutches. If you haven't seen our clutch cleaning video, it's a really, really good video broken down into what we do, what we use, why we do it, things like that. Um, so yeah, clean the clutches, check the springs, check the spark plugs, you know, give it a good once over on the bolts, just kind of looking around, things like that, and then grease the skid. And I don't think I missed anything, but that's stuff we do quite often to make sure things are running in tip-top shape and you go out and have a great time with your buddies and uh yeah we'll catch you next time thanks guys